So I don't know how to start this, and I don't know how I want to do it. <laughs> I just caught this. Do it twice. I don't know if you saw that. Today is September, yeah, September 29th, and I'm getting married in two days. Um, and I'm making my wedding cake. Yep. So I'm making a gluten-free red velvet cake because my fiance has celiac disease and he can't have gluten. This is his grandmother's recipe. It's a gluten-free red velvet. And I'm gonna put a couple twists on it to make it more wedding appropriate and a bit more sturdy for travel. So the plan is I'm gonna make two double batches. So it's gonna be a lot of cake. I'm baking the cake today and prepping the frosting today. And then tomorrow we're gonna go down to the venue and I'm gonna assemble it there. That way I don't have to worry about transporting a fully assembled and decorated cake. So I have most of my ingredients already measured out and basically I'm just gonna throw them into my mixer here and get started. So this cake is red velvet, but I want it to be really red in contrast with the white buttercream I'm going to do. So for a double batch, I'm going to put four full things of red food coloring. It's going to be really red. <laughs> You just got to be careful because everything is going to get dyed red. Because didn't you tell me that she actually puts two? She does one, but then fills the other one up with water. Oh, that's not what you told me. I could do three and then one filled with water. G spoons. That looks delicious. I always almost forget the vinegar. It's not the uh, lemon vinegar. That was olive oil. That was olive oil. Lemon vinegar. Yeah, I made a mistake a couple weeks ago. I was cooking with oil that was orange infused and I didn't know it. So I was putting it into all these things that should not have orange infused oil. And I, I was and I was so confused. I was eating all this stuff and I was like, why does it taste weird? Like it's not bad, but like something's weird about the flavor. But I had no idea. And then I was cooking something and Lizzie comes in and she's like, oh, orange olive oil. That's an interesting choice. And I was like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Oh my gosh. It does look like blood. I'm going to stain my fingers red, but that's okay. So originally this cake is made with just a whipped cream frosting. Just, it's not frosting, it's just whipped cream. Whipped cream is not very good in terms of like for making a structured cake and we're gonna have multiple layers and tiers. So whipped cream, it's not gonna, it's not gonna cut it, unfortunately. So I, we're making this with a vanilla buttercream recipe. There's gonna be a lot more structure. It's gonna be easier to transport. It's gonna be safer to, to be letting sit out because whipped cream would just melt if it's sitting out for long. Uh, buttercream is gonna be safer and a lot less um, difficult to, cause I'm, I'm gonna have some sort of pattern, you know, some decoration and you can't really decorate with whipped cream. So the buttercream is gonna be better for the wedding. So this is a double batch that I'm working on. I'm gonna make two double batches. We're doing a 10 inch round, two 10 inch rounds and two eight inch rounds. I'm putting flour in and milk alternatively. It's a very full mixer, so I kind of blend it carefully. It looks really good. You've practiced it a couple of times? Yeah, so I've done two practice runs for this cake. One full practice, like both the 10 tier and the 8 tier, and then one just the 8 tier because I was just practicing um, how I was going to do the icing. Most people, when I told them I was going to make my own wedding cake, told me, no, I can't do that. <laughs> I should not do that. That's a terrible idea. I was crazy, but it's two days before the wedding and we have no cake, so I have no choice now. 
I'm making the wedding cake. It just felt like I kind of had to make it. If somebody else made it, I feel like I would have had a problem with it, you know? And it has to be gluten-free. I just, I, I wanted to make it. <laughs> I felt like I had to. And I'm not stressed about it, honestly. I think it's gonna be fine. I think it'll be pretty amazing to have our wedding cake be something I made, right? Don't you think? I think that's everything. Shortening, sugar, eggs, vanilla, salt, buttermilk, flour, baking soda. Yeah. So the question is, should I do, can I fill the two 10 inch rounds with this? Or do I have to do a 10 inch and an eight inch? I don't remember. I do have four sticks of butter in my pocket. Yeah. I don't know if you wouldn't need those. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need those, but that's for the icing. Oh, okay. So not till, I just I need- I heard you mention that like you already used the butter. And I was like, I'm big to different. <laughs> it's, it, it's still in my pockets. <laughs> I don't know what you use, but I wonder. <laughs> well, there we go. What's next? I'm going to prep the pans, which I probably should have done before, but I didn't. So we're doing it now. <laughs> I got to get the pans. So we've got a bit of mishmash pans here. These are our 10 inch rounds. Clearly not the same. I'm trying to think of how I did this when I did the practice round. So I don't really remember. And then these are our eight inch rounds. I remember I did this full one cause it's much thicker. And then two of these small ones as two layers. And I cut this into two. Well, I'm gonna grease and flour these pans. We'll figure out later how, what fits in what. What? I have something on my face. <laughs> What's on my face? I would have assumed it was going to be red food coloring. Oh, this is not enough parchment paper. <laughs> hey, mom, do we have more parchment paper? We're good. I am just cutting out parchment paper to put on the bottom of my pans. I'm going to put shortening on it and then piece parchment paper and then shortening on the side. I mean, it's, it's fine. This is baking, it's not exact. You just throw stuff in there and it'll turn out fine, especially for your wedding cake. I'm actually less stressed doing this than I was baking the wedding cake for my sister last year. Like, does that make sense? Like, I, I'm, I'm less stressed about it. Last year when I made my sister's wedding cake, I was like, kind of stressed. I don't know, I think this is gonna be fine. I'm not worried about it. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We'll find out. Are you stressed about it, about the cake? Oh, not the cake. You're getting married too? Oh, that's interesting. Who are you getting married to? A guy. What's he like? He's okay. My videographer is getting married too this weekend. This weekend? Yeah. Me too. Oh my gosh. Is she okay with the fact that you work with me? Um, what are you talking about? <laughs> just... You think I should start with the 10 inches? Oh, six. I've been saying eight this whole time, but do you think I should start with the 10 inches or yeah. the six? Uh, <laughs> Was that a yeah? <laughs> should I start with the 10 or the six? Yeah, I'll start with, start the, 10. with the 10. I'm just gonna pour it in there. Oh, look at that. I'll probably do a 10 and, a, and then a six. There we go. That looks good, actually. So I filled the, the deep um, 10 inch and the deep six inch and <laughs> six inches. And we're gonna bake these. And hopefully they come out good. Otherwise, we're gonna have a little bit of an issue. I'm gonna start with 25 minutes. It's probably gonna take longer than 25 just cause these are so thick. Um, but we'll start with 25. And now I just have to do that again. So I have another batch here and I'm just gonna fill the rest of my pans with it. This looks like too much batter. This looks like overkill. Actually, yeah, that's actually a really good amount of batter, I think. <laughs> Let me see. Oh yeah, that's good. Softened butter. <laughs> that's good. No, that's what I needed. That's why I wanted someone to put them in their pockets. So these are ready to go in the oven. The other ones are still baking. Beautiful. Looks good. Well baked. Maybe. When we cut it open, we'll see. You 
Yum. Hopefully these come out. Oh. Oh, look at that. Slick. That's, that's, a, that's a heavy cake. Yes. So I'm just taking them out to cool. I'm gonna let them cool a little bit more and then we'll level them. And while we wait for them to cool more, I'll make the frosting. There we go. <laughs> they look good. I'm really happy with them. I think I'm gonna need a lot of powdered sugar. Cause I wanna make a lot of frosting. I want there to be too much frosting and not, not enough frosting. I'm gonna start making the icing. I want to make sure I have enough. The butter is nice and softened. It's been softened in someone's pockets. Now it's ready to go. Two cups of butter, two cups of shortening, and a lot of powdered sugar. So I've beaten the butter and the shortening. When I'm making frosting, a large volume of frosting, I like to keep tally of how much powdered sugar and milk I've put in because they go in alternately and then because you, you want to watch the consistency. So I always lose track of how much I've put in. So I always keep a tally. I'll do like a cup of powdered sugar with one tablespoon of milk to make sure I know how much I've put in. I'm probably gonna do a whole package of these and put it in some of the frosting to go in between the layers. I think that's enough for the inside. Probably. So we I made my icing. This is the vanilla, this is just regular buttercream that I'm gonna use to ice the whole cake. And then this is vanilla buttercream that I've mixed in our crushed Oreos with for the in, for inside the layers. It's very delicious, very, very sweet, um, but it's gonna be good in our cake. And we're just gonna put those aside for tomorrow when I assemble. And I'm also going to trim and layer my cakes and wrap them up and package them so they'll be ready to go tomorrow as well when we get to the venue. Oh my, that's gonna need to be secured on there. My trusty saw that I used for my sister's cake worked really well and I've used it when I practice and it, it's really good. So I'm gonna continue to use that. This is a moment of truth to see how well these are cooked. Looks pretty good. That looks, that's, that's cooked really well actually. Just always keep the cake scraps. And cake pops out of them later. I could. This is kind of a problem. I don't know if these are going to be even layers. <laughs> See this? I mean, I could make it the same size and we'll just have more cake scraps. You know, it's just gonna look better. Yeah. So that's gonna be our top. Do you wanna try it? <laughs> See this, we'll make cake pops out of later. Look at how red and beautiful that is. This, it looks good too, it looks well baked. I like the center. That's good. I mean, I think the frosting is really sweet, but the cake itself isn't too sweet. So it'll be okay. So I'm just gonna package them up really nice and tight and then assemble tomorrow the, at the venue. We're gonna, I'm gonna wrap them. I'm gonna Ziploc bag them and then we're gonna put them in a box. This isn't gonna fit in here.
lunch. So got them all packaged up. Gonna put them in boxes, got their icing ready to go. So when we go there tomorrow morning, I'll just assemble it hopefully real quick and then we'll be ready to go. Here we go, we're done for today. Hello friends, it is me from the future. It's approximately five months later that I'm editing and uploading this. I had to close this out with a voiceover because it was a bit ambitious of me to think that I would be decorating this cake the day before and be able to film an outro. Uh, as you can see in these clips here, it was a little rough. Definitely stressed out, definitely was like, sort of questioning my decisions. I am, I'm not mic'd in these clips, but I do say some things and you can just hear the stress in my voice. So instead of reliving that, I just decided to close this out with a voiceover and there is no like official closing clip. Just came on here to say thank you for watching. I enjoyed rewatching these clips. I haven't looked at them, you know, since we filmed them. And I think it came out really good. The cake was good, the day, the whole day itself was good. Um, definitely looked best from afar, but that is okay. There's clips at the end of here. Look, there we are. There's That's our wedding day. That is the moment. Uh, we're cutting the cake here, and I'm really happy with how it came out, and I don't regret it at all. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye! <laughs>